Hello. I was just trying to follow the weird combo shit that's going on here. Applying a buff. This this guy is, can be fucking crazy. Okay, hold on. Where's do I have a switch stone? I do have a switch stone. What is your light side? May apply an additional stack of any buff. This guy might be just a beastly support. Skill resetter. Okay, so check this out. He's he doesn't have that yet, which is fine. Totally fine. But encapsulate heals and shields. Okay? It heals and shields. When it heals, it further shields. When it heals, it applies sidekick. When it heals, it debuffs enemies. When enemies are hit, when, it, when enemies are debuffed, deal bonus hits. When enemies are debuffed, also gain shields. But that's not all. Anytime you're not attacking, gain shields. Anytime you're not attacking, apply random debuffs. When you're shielding, gain barrier. When you buff, get more buffs. When you buff, get more buffs. When you get buff, get shielding. When you buff, heal. Hold the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Okay. I heal. I gain a buff. I heal. I gain a buff. I'm, I'm trying to puzzle this out in my head. I heal... <laughs> there, there's just multiple steps in my head I'm trying to puzzle out. I use a heal. I can apply debuffs. But more importantly, I'll grant a buff. When I grant a buff, I can combo buff. When I apply buff, I apply shielding. When I apply a shielding, I grant a buff. When I apply a buff, I heal. <laughs> when I heal, <laughs> it's circular. Okay. And then every heal creates debuff. And that whole process can re-proc proliferate. Okay. That's fucking insane. All heals shield. All heals also buff. When I buff, I shield. When I buff, I heal. When I shield, I buff. And when I heal, I debuff and I shield. And when I shield, I debuff. And when I debuff, I get an extra hit. <laughs> An additional 30 damage hit. See, that may be kind of weird because this isn't actually targeting the person. So I'm not sure what the 30% is even scaling off of. Maybe magic? I don't know. This is so fucking weird. Increase attack and magic. Monster in the party deals increased damage. I need Hex. Gotta get Hex. Extra hit, definitely. Hex. Very tactile, increased damage.
first critical hits, those extra hits. Increase critical chance while wearing no equipment that increases critical chance. Extra hits. Every attack triggers an additional hit. Hits all enemies. Up to two. So I could mass debuff with this. I'd apply bleed stacks. Take that. Good chance. Take that. Take that. Crit chance. Take a uh, skills skill potion. Heal by. Oh, that's that's not a bleed thing. That's a life steal. That's only the first, that's only the first hit, and I can't crit heal. And this is not accounting for my ability to afford these skills. That will cost 203 mana. Also, side note is... Changeling does not have the ability to cleanse. Cannot cleanse. But that that infinite loop there is just a little bit too tempting for me. And he can get stack bonus buffs. Fucking madness, dude. So the uh, the bonus hits are just for the trigger for hex, are just to trigger hex where at all possible. Buffing the whole party is a good idea. Crit chance, um, best that does is just critical hybridization, um, honestly. Um, I'll take it, just because it lands another hit. Uh, but it's the first critical hit, so it only procs once. I'm not going to take a bunch of other skills just to get that one extra 60% hit out. this. Um, preferably up to channel to heal. 230. Based off of max mana. Oh, you know, that might be why Encapsulate's not been very useful for me in the past. Maybe someone's got really high magic, but max mana's kind of meh, whatever. Ooh, 
Ooh, extra hit. I didn't even see that right away. Okay, what's the last thing I'm going to take? At least for now. Probably magic. Power for every consecutive hit during an ability is increased by the Cascade should it work for healing too, right? I should think so. I'll take Cascade. Weak to neutral attacks. That's appropriate. Alright, well, let's get you in here. And temporarily switch with change uh, Goblin Miner. You're a crazy bastard. Let's see how this goes. Um, equipment? Fuck, I don't even know what to give you. Non critical damage. I don't want to give you like a healing thing. Crit chance. Heal self for 150 on the first critical hit of an attack. Pirate hook? Maybe pirate hook? Crit chance. Heal self. Well, when you heal, you debuff. When you heal, you buff. When you heal, you shield. And then you trigger all this other stupid shit. So, I mean, Pirate Hook seems like a good idea, I guess. Um, receive two random buffs at the start of combat. Monster can still receive another instance of that buff in flame. Shield self when receiving a buff. Seems like a sun pendant thing. Totem shield self at the start of combat. Healing skills increased by 10%. Hmm. Slime skin. When getting attacks, 25% chance to apply weakness. Sustain ring. Crit chance, mono regen, crit chance, mono regen, magic, mono regen. Scroll. Weird stats. Very weird stats. But. You can give it a shot. Spent a lot of time on that. Um, let's actually see what's down this way. Things really opened up this way, has it? Doesn't look like it. So basically, the whole purpose of this section has been to get the rainbow slime. Whoa, hi there. You know what? Let's fight. How are we going to do this? Um, encapsulate. No, power. Power. Damage. 
he's not triggering like heals and stuff as much as possible. Maybe I should just like heal with him. Triggers both heals and shields. Alright, well. I think the thing that they really need is a mass heal. Once they have, like, the ultimate mass heal, then they got stuff going for them. But until then, they might struggle a bit. But I see the potential there. I see the potential there. That could really just be a one and done sort of deal. Ah, oh, it's nice to have an AoE. I wonder what happens once I get another level with Dracogran. Anyway, Goblin Miner's back. Um, yeah. Sorry. I gave it a try. I'm not terribly impressed, I'm afraid. I really want Plague Egg to work. Actually, I can check your ultimates. Tornado. Shield all. Heal all. Shield all. Heal all. Shield all. Replenish. That's some good shit. And it's overcasted. That's overcasted. That's not overcasted. Replenish. Overcasted. Replenish. Fuck. Spore Nebula. Hits all enemies. Every hit has a 20% chance to evolve weakness. Requires level 40. Okay, what about Goblin Miner? What do you got? Boulder Toss. Okay, I know Boulder Toss is available on the trolls because the guy I was fighting against in multiplayer kept fucking using it on me and it hits like a truck. I mean, it's 500% physical damage. And it ignores target's defense by 50%. It's insane. Giga Drill. Six times 100% physical damage applies armor break, and it applies might and barrier to itself. That's cool. Full potential. Shields target for 25% of target's max health, and applies might, sorcery, regeneration, sidekick, ability, and spell shield. I mean, in terms of, like, opening buffs... That's the way to go about it. That's 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 the way to go about it. I like Giga Drill. I really really like Giga Drill. It's very appropriate, and I'm very happy that's <laughs> that's the thing. But full potential, just in terms of like Dracogram, is also huge. That is off the top of my head. Two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve percent from heroism alone. And then from Improved Assault, that's another... That's, that's, that's 18%. So full... N not only that, not only that, let me back that up a bit. Not only that, but with Might and Sorcery, that's applying 20. So... 38% damage? You, you cast... You cast full potential on Dracogram. Turn one, and he's hitting for 38% more next turn. That's pretty ridiculous. And then he can glory on the other turns. It's nothing to sneeze at. Plus, he'll combo buff. On top of that, he will combo buff. 
I'm glad these abilities are as impressive as they are. Jeez. Grulu, what can you do? Or Aurora's shield. Shield all and remove two debuffs. Nice. Ion beam. Every hit has a 15% chance to apply a random debuff. Every hit has a 15% chance to apply a random debuff. It hits nine times! Nine fucking times! Are you mad? Acid Rain guarantees a hit, though. Whereas this does not. But nine fucking times and 15% chance every time to apply a debuff. That's well over 100% likelihood you're going to drop something on the guy. It's nine times 15%. Acid Rain hits all enemies, 75% chance to apply armor rate. You put that on a boss. You put this move on a boss, and that boss is going to melt like crazy. Even more so if you get someone who has, like, poison stacks. Shit. Much as I would love for him to have more consistent cleansing, like his whole his whole strategy is fucking great. Acid tempest. I gotta go ion beam. That's just balls out insane. And you have debuff mastery. You can put two of every debuff on someone. And you can apply Armor Break, and you can apply Burn, and every hit triggers another hit. A every debuff triggers another hit. You got nine fucking chances! That is so insane. It is boggling to me. It is mind-boggling to me that the guy I fought against had a Grulu at level 40 and was not doing this shit to me. Good god. Could have been fucking ion beaming me and you were throwing goddamn boulders at me. Really? You weren't even killing me. Fuck, dude. But then who would have the mass poison or like the mass burn to get that shit done? Someone would have to. Is this like neutral damage? No, it's wind damage. Ultimates are pretty impressive so far. Targo, what have you got? You also have Aurora Shield, which is appropriate for you. Ram Charge ignores defense, applies barrier to the whole party. Okay. Mega Protect redirects the next attack, targeting each ally to this monster. Shield all. Well, obviously. Obviously, you gotta take the Mega Protect, right? Plague Egg. Rocket launch. <laughs> Hits all enemies. Every hit has a 25%, 20% chance to apply burn or shock. You also have Giga Drill. Electric Surge. Hits all enemies. Shield all allies. 50% chance to apply shock. And I just want to go through all the guys and see what their ultimates are now. I didn't realize you were going to just spoil it all right away. Bubble Deluge, Fire Pillar, applies three buffs to itself, hits all enemies, 20% chance to apply shock. What about you? You like the buffs. Blizzard hits all enemies, apply chill. Typhoon Cuts applies three buffs to yourself, applies psychic to the full party. That's kind of lame. That's kind of lame. Fungi. You can multi-stack poison. And you also have proliferate. 
You can also multi-stack weakness, too. Multi-stack poison and weakness. Hits all enemies. Every hit has a 20% chance to have weakness. 1,000 leaves. Hits all enemies cannot be dodged. Shield all enemies. I'm surprised that's not like a multi-hit attack. Slimageddon. 9 times 60% applies poison and weakness. Guaranteed. Slimageddon. It's fucking glorious. Dude, I want to use all of these. Aurora Shield. Polar Winds. Hits all enemies. 50% to apply shield. Shields all, uh, heals all guys. Cool. What's your ultimate? Frost Pierce. Fire Pillar. Dark Shroud. Man, I'm so disappointed in you in particular. What do you got? Replenish, Blizzard, Dark Shroud, also boring. Promethean, Electric Surge, Electrocute, Armor Up. That makes sense. Blob. Cataclysm. 4 times 75%. Hits all enemies, applies Burn, Chill, Shock, or Poison. Fire, water, wind, earth. Nice. Carnage hits all enemies, heals all allies. Legion applies might, sorcery, and barrier to whole party. Sustained heal. Meteorite shower, full potential. You also have full potential. Godly Strikes. Damage is increased by 3% for every buff on this monster. Nice. That's cool. What about Mimic? You also have a thousand leaves, also have Frost Pierce. Elemental Strikes. Hits all enemies, ignores 25% of target's defense. I wish Mimic was better. Frost Pierce, Ice Spear Barrage. Wounds. Okay. What the fuck do you got? Armor up. Okay. There is a fair amount of overlap. Dark Shroud, Boulder Toss. I am zero. Pre this is lame, honestly. But I am zero. At totally unsurprised by Dark Shroud there being on you. Uh. interesting. You had multi-stack poison. And you had these fish scales. Tsunami. Removes two buffs from the target. Hits all enemies. Mega protect. Full potential. You have mega protect and full potential. Damn, dude. You're really cool, I wish you looked cooler. What's your shit again? Bubble Deluge. Applies channel to whole party, it removes one debuff from all allies. Applies sorcery, regeneration, and spell shield to itself, hits all enemies. Bubble Deluge. Channels everyone, removes one debuff. I really like your light shifted ability. I wish there was some way I could capitalize that. Capitalize on that in a big way. You can redirect attacks towards you. I mean you can multi you can multi-sorcery too. 
all these sorceries. Pretty big deal. You know, your mana sharing and your multi sorcery. Okay, well, that's. See, that's the thing. That's another one of those examples of, like, oh, well, you have sorcery. It's like, you have multi sorcery, but you can't actually share multi sorcery. You don't have that ability. Which is a real shame. Elder Gel is cool. I really like him, but he's he's not really a good fit for my party right now. I feel like I'm missing some like obvious stuff to check out, but I don't know. Tanuki. Full restore, heal, shield, remove six fucking debuffs. You also have slime again. Okay. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. This was not on the map. Uh, it's, um, it's a worms. That is straight out of worms. What the fuck? I did not expect to just walk in on another game. It's appropriate you're in the blob area. <laughs> in, a, in a hidden one at that, but that's a cameo, all right. Damn. Let's go. Straight up just called Worm. One was a Tanuki, okay. Oh, you will melt. Oh, that's some pretty damage. the attack animation. Come on, can we kill everyone? Ah, no dice. Six stars. Give me that. No! Damn it. Alright. Well, you got fucking Ion Beam now. And you're gonna be a menace to society with it. Because I got the AoE. I got the AoE special. I got the AoE special. For Dracogron. So you'll single target with this during boss fights, and then he'll open up Fire Claws. 15% chance to apply a random debuff. Fucking armor break, bitch. Alright, what do I spend your last point on? Every fire attack is a 15% chance to apply burn. Ion is not that. Restore, no. Shielding, no. I could just straight up take defense. I, I'm not sure that combo shielding isn't just straight up like when you use shield. Using a shield action. I'm using an action that shields. Well, I really don't use shield anyway, so. Healing skills also apply a shield. Healing skills also apply a shield. Something 
deals 50% of own defense when applying a debuff. Take Aeons. Targoat. Level 40. Give me that Mega Protect, baby. Final skill points. Mana? I can put into Mana. Is there anything you shouldn't have? You got Defense. You got Health. You got Mana. Combo buffing, power, mass protector. Shield equal to defense, equal to attack value. I should just give you mana. And then that's mana you don't need to fucking spend. 240. It's stuff he can afford of any other time, anyway, so. Bracelets, defense, crit damage, hide. I think I should just give him hide. Shield self when receiving a buff. Healing skills increased by 10%. I mean, that seems good. Drum? Uh. and draw. Yes. Okay. Seems good. Uh... Shield self for 100% of max mod start of every turn. I mean, I probably should be putting that on cargo. Just because he could really use that. even healing? Let's be real. He's not really healing. He's not healing anybody. He's just granting shield. You know what? Never mind. His drum's not good. Let's take sustain ring. Go to goblin miner. Take that shield generator off. Put shield generator on Targoat. There we are. So, mono regen, 220. Now, what's your normal protect skill? 240. Fuck. It's the same cost as Mega Protect. Shield sell for six times. Shield all for three times. Shield self. For... Oh, he shields everyone. Oh, okay. A little bit confused there. He shields the whole party, not just himself. That's pretty useful. Ah, I don't know. exactly have a lot of mana but you'd be shielding yourself 419 every turn it's not bad that's like an eighth of your health bar is it really worth that maybe not Oh, 
but there you go. A little underwhelming. I want a worm's egg. Oh, you got more of that shit over there. Let's go. Okay. I know what I'm gonna do this time. Let's see you ion beam the fuck out of this guy. Madness. Madness. And that's definitely a kill. Okay, so the trick may be to be... Um... Maybe to have... Someone stack buffs with their ultimate. see Giga Drill. I'll just equip it for now. But, uh, yeah. So, full potential. That would be... Dropping that on Dracogron would give him a huge buff right away. And then want to be massive debuff and then swing, swing for the hit. Applies a buff and gains a charge stack. I do not know what to give you. I really don't. Whenever an enemy takes burn damage, regenerate 10 mana. I'm gonna take this. Whenever an enemy takes burn damage. You cannot reliably inflict burn, sadly. But. Let's just say, let's just say there's three enemies. Hits for six. Every hit has a 15% chance. So that's like 90% chance to... Wait, no. 90% chance you're going to get a burn. 90% chance to get a burn. That's not good. It's really not good. Yeah, that's not as, as that's not so great. Not e even with like the extra hit. That's not very good at all. Whenever an enemy takes burn damage, you're gonna need to partner them up with someone who can inflict burn damage. I mean, this applies burn. So I guess I, I take that back. 
I completely forgot I had coal toss. Never mind. I still use this. Coal toss. Okay, so guaranteed 10 mana refunds. And then for every 5 hits after that, it's 15%. Okay, and then you have Defense Proc, and then you have... Okay, alright, alright, alright. I could respect Goblin Miner. I think I'm gonna do that off-screen. I could respect Goblin Miner just so he's more self-sustaining. Like this get hit and get poison effect. It's not super useful. Um, but then again, on the flip side... He can't stack fire, unfortunately. Well, he can stack two fire. I take that back. Total lie. He can stack two fire. And then, when people take burn damage... When they take burn damage, chance to apply armor break. And then armor break can proc this. And he can stack armor break. Well, not... That doesn't stack that. Well, he does have that. And that'll block him. Never mind. I'm... I once again overthinking things. I got a uh, worm egg. Worm egg. Hello, worm. Like, is this infringing on somebody's copyright? I, or, I, I'm gonna assume that you got uh, that this is like official somehow. Ballistics. This monster deals 25% more damage, but has a 10% chance to miss each hit. I like that. Oh my sh fucking god. What the fuck? You can stack that? You're like fucking... You're like Gage from Borderlands 2. And I kind of love that. What the fuck is this? Critical hits have a 17% chance to deal 77 more damage. Oh my god. And you only have crit damage. Only crit damage. You you can hit like a motherfucking truck if you want to. But you gotta have to you gotta hit first. And then of course I'm gonna have to give you equipment that jacks up your crit crit rate. Oh my god, this guy. Okay, obviously. Um Pyro Cracker. What the fuck? Getting all that crit damage. Oh, you got evasion too. Stackable evasion. Berserk. If single hits deals more than 25% of an enemy's max HP, gain 8 charge stacks. I like it. Worm Troop. Worms in the party regenerates 10% of their max health each turn and have plus 10% mono regeneration. Oh, that's good. Severe hit. They're also talking about capitalizing on actually dealing that quarter damage. Uh... Shit, dude. Fortress. Shield all. Apply barrier. Rocket launch. Apply burn and shock. Hits all enemies, 75% chance to hit, apply burn. I'm gonna assume rocket launch is, you know, the thing to take, since he's got so much fucking crit damage. 
when used for the first time during combat. Dude, his crit damage is 200%. What the fuck, dude? It's higher crit damage, I gotta take it. Give me that regeneration. Hits all enemies. This is a two-hitter. Need to take that. 10% of own... Reduces damage by 10% of own critical damage value. That's 20% damage reduction. When using a shield action. Additionally, shield an ally with the lowest health. You got double combo shielding. That's cool. Combo buffing. Glory would be a great thing for you to give yourself. It really would. That'd be fantastic. Hmm. It's much more important that you have the glory than have glory. I'm actually gonna fix that. Okay. Crit damage. One forge. I'm giving you one forge. That's most damage. Crit damage. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Extra hits, regen, crit damage, crit damage, crit damage, crit damage, ballistics, crit damage, ballistics, crit damage, explosive blast, crit damage, ballistics, lucky hits. Okay, you need to be able to afford these attacks. Giving you 210. 220. Gotta be able to afford 220. The kids, you just go straight both of these. 220. He doesn't have any other mana pots I can give him. Mana region 220. Crit chance and modern generation, huh? Yeah, I could go for that. Uh, sustain ring. Too bad you don't have the uh, crits give you mana back thing, that'd be amazing. Crit chance, mana regeneration. Feather was made for you. Oh, your mana regen's good now. I just give you feather. Crit chance. Crit damage, crit chance. Where is... Do you have a crit ring? I sell the crit ring. Um, you get up here. There we go. And equipments. All right, equip. Wait a second. Do you have crit ring? You have crit ring. You should not have that. Uh, 
attack magic health. No, what's crit chance? Crit chance, crit damage, cape? Cape, you'll get cape. Alright, worm. You get the crit ring. There you go. Crit ring, feather. Mono regeneration. I need mono regeneration and crit chance. Are you at the feather? Omni ring is possible. I think Omni ring is the only thing I can do. Feather, crit ring, Omni ring. The whip, feather. Crit ring. Crit ring and Omni ring. There we go. And you could have better shit than this, surely. Qatar. There we go. 50% of the time, you will hit for an additional 200% damage. Holy fuck. Alright. Um, and just to be clear, that is physical, right? Physical, yeah. Physical, yep. Fucking bingo, dude. And a few levels, I can give you more. Ridiculous. Alright, well, I got that. Happy about that. Bang. Okay. I still need whatever... Hold up. Pulls player towards grappling anchor. That's totally unsurprising to me as well. That seems appropriate. Alright, well, Worms is in the game, I guess. That's kind of cool. It is a side-scrolling game. And I, I, I can imagine them being in the game. Um, I do need to come back there with the uh, platform thing. And whatever it takes to, like, levitate the big rocks. Which, again, I'm not sure how I would go about doing that. Choose monsters. Let's take Worm with us today. Worm. Let's, uh... Glory up. Cool. Let's shield. Cool. Let's life channel. Die, please. Forge again, please. And the shield. And the channel. Why on earth does why is he only got one glory? Am I mistaken about Forge? Why is glory to the whole party? Oh, he can't multi-stack glory, unlike... Okay, gotcha. Alright, that's fine. His damage is shit. Why? Oh, the, like, I don't know. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna end it up here. <laughs>